So you're looking to become a serious commuter and maybe the Jetson Bolt Pro's battery is not quite cutting it. This battery right here gives you today I'm going to attempt to upgrade the battery for the Jetson Bolt Pro from the stock 216 watt hour to this monster 504 watt hour battery. Yes, that is over twice the capacity. The problem is that this thing might not actually fit. I could be in over my head with this upgrade. It's like trying to wear a pair of jeans that I bought two years ago. Probably won't fit. <laughs> You have to get some connectors. Dean's to XT60. This is an XT60 extension cable. You should get 12 gauge because this wire is 12 gauge as well. Battery was purchased on eBay. Other parts on Amazon. Parts list in the description. All right, so everything is unscrewed now. Well, not everything. There we go. Back it comes out. Here's the size comparison. It's, it's bigger, uh, it's not ginormous, but it's bigger. This thing is not gonna fit exactly like this. So these tabs need to be broken off. I'm just gonna cut them off cleanly. And this has to be unscrewed, possibly relocated. We'll figure it out as we go. This probably voids your warranty, so proceed with caution. All right, let's remove this. Hopefully there's no surprises, nothing falls out. Oh, it's still held up over here. So to keep this tidy, I have a rubber band. And I'll just place it over here. All right, so we're gonna compare both shells and you can see that this one on the left shell, there is no obstruction. The one on the right shell, there's this thing, this, and this, so there's these three tabs that we'll have to remove. All right, now I'm just gonna take out the rest of this so that the bike is easier to work with. Dry fit. Uh, hmm, this thing might fit. Uh, can I close it though? Yeah, we'll see soon enough. Once I trim the other side, then I'm going to, I'm gonna play with this. All right, it's time to get trimming. Okay, the basic ones. Got this Dremel, uh, it has this flat blade, hopefully it's enough. All right, so it doesn't fit right away, we'll just Keep this in mind. Let's remove this one as well. Okay, so now this is the left one. Uh, I'm gonna try to fit it on the left first. And the reason I have it this way is so that I can bring out the charging cable right here. It's hitting the edge on this side. The edge on this side. So it looks like I'll have to cut a notch. So this notch that I'm gonna cut, I'm just gonna draw a line. I'm just gonna scrape it so I can see where I have to cut and get an idea. So if you see, this thing has to go and this piece has to go. So uh, yeah, let's see if it works. But before I do that, I'm just gonna remove this piece. And the reason for that is that mine is already broken right here. So I'm gonna remove this piece and this piece, just to see if it fits. Wow, this thing, this thing almost fits. So we're gonna see if we can just trim this guy and maybe get it fitting. All right, so it turns out that I do have to cut it and I'm just gonna mark it once again here and here but as you can see that this side is already sitting against the mount and once it sits against the mount because this is 2.8 inches it will fit so we're doing this side first Wow, 
well, it's not the best fit, but uh, yeah, I think it works. Now, will I have to cut this side? Probably. What you can see is that now one side fits and the other side is getting close. However, I do have to cut again. It needs to get cut uh, right about here. So I'm gonna press it up all the way against that hinge and then I'm gonna mark it up one more time. And as you see is this mark, disregard this one. You notice how this thing flew right past? That's why I always keep my hand behind the motion of the blade because uh, cutting into yourself probably hurts like hell. Look at this. We are good all the way around. It did require some notching. So at this point, I am happy with how this is turning out and I'm going to make it a little bit prettier by putting some uh, cloth tape. This blue battery sticking out, not gonna cut it. All right, so now I'm just gonna wrap this up because it's no longer being used. Oh, by the way, that extra slot that I cut off for the controller board, it turns out you don't have to cut it. It was right here. The battery sits just below it. It's so close. Uh, oh, well. Time to return the controller board where it belongs. I'll just leave it a little loose right now just to see how the battery fits in here. And I'm gonna lean the bike back because I want the battery to fall forward rather than out like this. The fit is tighter than I expected, but that's probably because of, <laughs> uh, not that I would make any mistakes. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, so I am going to route this over the top because this is the pedal assist cable. I'm going to have to cut this off as well because this wire is stuck there so this pedal assist cable okay so what we're going to do is we're going to lay as many cables flat as possible on the top so this fit is tighter than i expect i'm going to try to lay some there's barely any room but it's not going to pinch because uh the weight is on the bottom so i'm just gonna slide these through i still got the power to do so let's do the power before i forget so once again, this Dean's male to, I believe this is a female XT60. I don't even know if it's a male or a female. It has properties of a female and a male, like kids these days. Wow. Okay. And uh, here's the power. Oh, uh, that didn't sound good. Oh, whoa, whoa. Scary sound. Okay, so uh, so what I noticed is that uh, this fit is not that great. Okay, there we go. Shove everything under here. Sorry, calling this being a foot long cable, but uh, it's a lot longer. Uh, so uh, yeah, get the foot long cable. You don't need longer than this. Okay, now that I know that this thing is gonna work, I'm just gonna tighten this up. And this pedal assist cable is uh, it's kind of a problem, but we'll see in a second. So if I put this down here, it's gonna pinch. But if you look at the very corner, the very corner is actually a tiny little gap. So I'm gonna put it in that little gap there. Okay, so that is about as flat as I can get it. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a little bit of tape just so it doesn't run all over. So it was pinching on these tiny little wires and uh, that is the last thing you wanna do. Make sure it's down there. So back here, it's pedal assist, power cable, charging cable. 
you just have to do it in that orientation otherwise stuff is just not gonna fit okay so now you can feel that everything is tight like in your 20s so now it's missing a screw here and that will decrease the rigidity I wish I had a zip tie on me I don't so I'm just gonna use this garden tie Yeah, it's sort of ghetto, but it'll do the job for now. If you want, you can glue this shut. I'm just going to close it and uh, just remind uh, my son that used this as a charger. And by the way, the normal Jetson charger works with this. Just keep in mind that now you have a 14 amp hour battery. It's going to take a lot longer to charge. I'm not sure if it's faster, but it does feel more peppy. Battery anxiety of a long haul is hopefully a thing of the past. Another thing that I've noticed right away is that usually after just a small little haul, you can feel that uh, you'll get battery sag and this isn't an issue. Big battery, oh yeah. All right, let's talk about the alternatives. The most obvious is the plug and play 36 volt, 10 amp hour battery. That one is simply plug and play. There's nothing to cut, nothing to fiddle with. It's quite easy. 10 amp hours is a 67% increase over the stock six amp hour battery. Another alternative is a 48 volt, eight amp hour battery. This will give you even more capacity. It's a direct fit and it happens to cost less than the 36 volt 10 amp hours. And yes, it will be on an upcoming video. The biggest downside of this upgrade was the cost. Half of a Jetson pretty much. It was 160 give or take. It's a lot of money. However, at the same time, it's not a lot of money that you have to spend all at once. And if you were trying to find a Jetson or Jetson like bike with this type of capacity you probably end up spending a lot more and you don't have the luxury of a spare battery although you do have to get your hands dirty I don't find the look all that unattractive you can ride for miles and it feels like a full battery all day long this mod is for a speed hacks and Jetson Bolt Pro and it did not increase the speed however it is for my son I'm okay with him only going 16 miles an hour and he wanted the most range possible so there it is. Just buy it? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just making a video. <laughs> yeah, I got it a long time ago. The battery properties are so different. It takes a lot longer to deplete this 36 volt. So you maintain that higher voltage and you won't be getting that sag like a 75 year old grandmother. <clears throat> if your Jets and Bolt Pro is feeling a little dated, a little bit sluggish, definitely try a battery upgrade. It'll give it a new spark on life. Your adventures will last a lot longer. You'll have more fun. You don't have to stand in line for $5.30 discounted gas. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Take care.